Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use deluxe menus. I'm going to make sure that it's installed correctly. Deluxe menus right there. It's green, so it's installed correctly. So now we're going to look at the config and change some stuff. But first, I'm going to show you how it works. One of the commands in this is, uh, I should have it. Basic menus is one of the commands. It'll bring up the basic menu. This is configured in the config. Once When you get it, this is a special stone. You can change the lore. It says test one, test two, and test three. There's also so other menus too so now we're gonna bring up the server go to here so you can see it there we go we go to plugins let's go to deluxe menus gui menus and this is a basic menu but we were looking at there's advanced menus and requirements menus so i could do slash advanced menu and i'll open up this this is the advanced menu where you could change it to how you want or you could delete it and just have one menu so we're going to change the basics menu and change its name the permissions and all of that so let's open it up again advanced menu basics let's open up basics bring up this thing you'll be at the top to open it in the open command slash basics menu or i can change it to just menu if i want the size is how many squares are there so there was just one row of nine squares a title menu that will say at the top basics menu and the open requirements so the requirements permission i have opt so i have all the permissions so type has permission if you want the player to have permission and i would just say add a permission if you, for some reason down the line you don't want someone to have it then you could just take the permission away and you could type it however you want this is deluxe menus i could do deluxe menu just menu if i want there then i can add that to the permissions you'll need lucky perms to add permissions so make sure to install that plugin unless if you're just going to be opt then you have all the permissions so there you go deny commands if they don't have permission to use that command it will show a message that's what the message here is it will say like oh this is the message and this is the color code you don't have permission to do that it will be all red that's the color code for red items this is the test stone it would not say test stone on there it just needs our id for every item that you put in there so if you have two things that are test that say exactly the same thing test stone it's going to cause problems so make sure to have a random or just test stone and then test stone two test stone three for an example and what is the material there let's go back to minecraft uh, if i do the menu basics menu this is a special stone it says stone one two three four five six seven eight nine see nine squares so let's Look in here, it's a stone, make sure it's capitalized. Slots, the, you want to put this item and it starts from zero. So yes, it shows a uh, nine, but when you open it up, this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Usually when you're messing with uh, plugins that use GUIs, the first one is usually zero. So uh, menu title, so if we open it up, basics menu right at the top right there. Let's move this over here open requirements yep we went through that this is a special stone the display name this is a special stone a for the green lore test one test two test three and if i click on it doesn't do anything left click right click nothing we will be adding a way where it will do some things we scroll down it gives all the stuff like hey broadcast is sound to the server refresh item close the viewer open menu connect to specify specified bungee server if you want to connect a bunch of servers together message to send the message like we looked at before execute a command for the menu viewer console ex so the if the player doesn't have a permission to do whatever's uh in the menu like you can have them pay like oh pay ten dollars and then execute this command but if they could do just execute it randomly like set the world border like you don't want that you want them to pay a certain amount so you can get rid of the permission to set the world border but you can add a console command where they can through the gui pay in-game money to change 
the world border at, for the console command. So that's what I'm planning on showing you how we'll do where they will pay, uh, let's say $10 to increase the world border by one. So first thing we should do is probably set the world border. So world border center. Uh, uh, let me just make it three. Is this where I'm at? Like, yeah, it's slash world border set 20. There we go, that hurts my eyes. Ah, my eyes! Okay, so we set the world border. Now we want them, any player, to pay a certain amount of in game money to increase the world border. So we'll do that now. Let's open this up. Let's scroll down until we find that console thing. Copy this usage. This is an example console command with no slash. We'll copy this thing right here. Copy. And then we're gonna. Take out this and i'm gonna look in the requirements one this is the requirements one so it's buying and selling a gold block this is the lore that tells them what to do left click requirements has a money deny commands left click commands so do you want them to left click it to get it or right click it to get it so we'll do left click so we'll let's just make a text document for just things that we need to copy. So console, okay. We'll copy this. Let's copy from way from the back so we know how many spaces there are. Copy that. Go down, paste, left click requirements. Let's just copy this too. Copy requirements. And then we just have this right underneath it. Doesn't matter where, I assume. Let's copy that. Copy. Just have a space space between these this is separate so we'll do that space there so we have that copied we don't want any right click stuff you know what it doesn't matter if we have it left or right click right let's just do both of these copy that make sure to get the requirements copy i bet i missed that up there three four let's put it there let's copy this requirement thing copy go over here uh go in there paste uh right click requirements or it copy requirements paste and right click commands copy increase that a little bit more uh what do i have it down there right i'll do that okay so we have all this stuff shift left click requirement let's not worry about shift i'm just going to do right and left click so Close that out. We'll be in the basics menu again. Open requirement, blah, blah, blah. Let's change the test stone to world border plus. Uh, what kind of item should we use for the world border? Uh, what's, the, what's the block? Uh, this one. Uh, magenta glazed terracotta. Magenta. Magenta glazed. Terracotta. Increase. Totally spelled that correctly. World border. Left or right click to increase the world border. So a left click requirement. Let's just copy all of that. Let's go down here. Go all the way back. Paste. Let's add some space between these. Left click requirement. Requirements has money. They need to have money. How much money? Let's say uh they need at least. We're making it where the the world border expands by ten dollars. That's that's why I decided. So they need at least ten dollars in their account. Do not command. You don't have enough money for this left click commands so console world order add one one take money take ten dollars or the world border increase by one okay now let's bring up the notes again and we'll make a right click uh we'll do file save so uh, what i want to do is make it where they don't have permission to do this they don't actually need a permission so with the permission we'll just get rid of that we'll do file save 
open the server dop linksu slash basics menu so it opens up when i'm not opt can you do slash op nope okay see i'm not opt increased world border that's the name and i'm just looking at this over here world border plus is what the item id is but people don't actually see that that's the item there's one it's in slot zero increase world border that's a we made it every color a you left click or right click to increase the world border so if i click it you don't have enough money oh no so i i see the problem we we need a we need a economy plugin so if we do slash pl we got vault so let's install essentials and now let's spam that thing okay let's just it goes pretty slow but it is increasing let's bring it up again click it let's go to here where it just adds by one no timer adds by one no timer i'll say deluxe menu Oops. reload let's try that again there we go that the timer was the problem no no timer okay the timer makes bad things happen there's my tutorial on deluxe menus hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye